So we have a uh, the week seven Padlet recap. First of all, thank you to Madison for the question. And the question is around freemium and Spotify being classified as a freemium service provider uh, versus you know, free, premium, and freemium. Now, all definitions of marketing are always open to a bit of argument and a bit of debate, and it's usually why I ask for people to drop citations and references so I know whose version of the idea you're using. Here, Spotify to me sits as, it has a free account, which is advertising interrupted. Uh, they would say it's advertising supported, I would say it's advertising interrupted. Because that account only has one companion account, if I'm getting my pricing structure right the last time I looked, uh, that you then buy in a premium account which takes out the advertising, I would say that that is a free account versus a subscription account, free versus premium. If, for example, though, you have a mid-tier, uh, you have a very basic account that allows you to post content. Uh, now, SoundCloud does this to some extent, where you first, you've only got two hours worth of content space, you've got a limited number of uh, assets to it, and you then are in a position to buy in. And a freemium account doesn't give you everything. As an important thing to understand here is that what makes it a freemium is it is better than the free account, but it's still more restricted than the premium. And Spotify, if it doesn't have restrictions on one of the account pricing levels, doesn't make it. A, it's therefore not a um, freemium account. So I would say you split to look at is if it's free, okay, it's supported by ads, and you are the product. Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, etc., most social media. If it's freemium, you are getting a better version of the product with more features, more space, more capacity, but there's still advertising content involved or there is still a better version of it out there. And then you've got premium, and premium is the best version of the package available. So those are your three tiers, and that's how you best look at it. Uh, and probably the easiest way to separate it is when you're looking at the pricing, is there a better version? If there's a better version, a top tier version, that has more features, and there's a bottom version that's available for free, whatever setting in the middle is probably free. And uh, thanks for the question. It's actually really fun to go back and revisit that idea. Thanks.